what are we doing now? Arrive four? Uh, we got another kind of the same situation. I don't know if we can get to him or not. Uh, Arrive four, he says his rear is hanging off the edge of the mountain or a cliff by three foot, four foot. Oh boy. But he said it was ice and I told him, you know, if, as long as we can get close to you. need like supplement rice <laughs> continue for six <laughs> miles <laughs> mashed potatoes eat your mashed potatoes <laughs> pretend they're ice cream that's what my grandma always used to tell me your grandma doesn't sound like she has very much fun i ate a lot of mashed potatoes <laughs> mommy's little baby <laughs> Anyway, Marathon stop Head like 10. West on Parkway West. toward Indian Circle Drive, then shop left to stay on Parkway. She's bossy. She's very confused. Twelve minutes away. The roads are are really good in most areas. Shop They've left to stay on Parkway, then turn right onto Connor Heights Road. Extremely busy with the salt trucks. And Continue for six miles. But just remember, guys, there's only so much they can do. You know, um, I talked to the, uh, the the plow guy there with that white car, and, and he said that that's all they could do was, was salt on either direction of it. They didn't want to really even get close to it. They was afraid they would uh, make things worse with either the buildup of snow when they come through or touching it. <laughs> if they was to slide, it would uh, wouldn't took much. A little tap. Oh, going past the going past that car. Yeah. You said they didn't want to go past it. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, because it wouldn't have taken much for that car to go the rest of the way over. It was. That was insane. How it was just dug in there. That was. I don't it would have been an how. easier recovery if it had went the rest of the way. Oh my goodness. <laughs> At least you knew it was down there. <laughs> Trying to make it not go down there, not so much. Uh, wouldn't have had to worry about damage, is it? No. I'm glad it wasn't down there. Yeah, there's a lot of climbing there. <laughs> Hey, um, which, which town company is this? Everything auto. Um, are y'all booked out for, t uh, pulling cars out of ice? Um, we can put you on the list. We've got a few ahead of you. Cause I had called some company, I forgot which one it was, at like one o'clock today. And now they're calling me back saying they're not going to be able to do it, so... I was just wondering if y'all were, everybody that I call says that they're not taking any more. Um, what's what's the location? What's the address? Um, hold on, let me look it up because I don't know it by heart. One second. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> the address is. And I guess more importantly, what's the situation? Can we get if we can if we can't get a tow truck close to you because of the icy roads? Then I'm I'm not really going to be able to do you any good if I can't get to you. Well, we're actually up in a cabin, and our village is not clear, but the the main roads are. So, yeah, you have to come up a road with ice on it. Okay. Um, what I what I would suggest is just to kind of hang tight. You can call your cabin company um, and see if they can bring you out some ice melt um, or the HOA. Putting something out. I don't know what he's putting out on a four wheeler, but somebody's out there now. Finally. Okay. Well, I mean, it'll eventually, yeah, it'll, it'll eventually get to where they can spread some some ice melt and get you out of there. It's it's just we wouldn't be able to get to you. Uh, no, we we check out on Sunday. Usually, like five Sounds like we lost her. Either that or she's talking to her. And then 
they called that they want better tow out. Okay. Okay. Thank you, right. sir. Uh -huh. Thank you. All right. Bye. So see guys, more of the same phone call. Like I said, we get hundreds of them uh, during these snow events. Uh, if you're up, you know, and you get trapped in your cabin, then, uh, you know, you try to watch for the weather. This one kind of snuck up on us. Didn't really give us much warning. You kind of woke up to a, an ice event, but just hang tight. Uh, you know, there's, there's nothing that we can do other than wait for the guys with the four wheelers to salt the driveways and and uh, wait for them to get the main roads. The main roads clear. We can't. Uh, we cannot tow you to the bottom of the mountain. Not with ice on the road. And there's there's no there's no dinner show. There's nothing that's worth trying to traverse some of these mountain roads when they're covered with ice. There's just yeah. If you're able to hang tight and you've got everything you need, you know enough food to get through a couple days, then you know that's. Just and in most option. cases, it's not even a couple of days. If you can just hang tight in a matter of six to eight hours, uh, most of the time they're really good about you know ice melting mm -hmm. on the driveways and things like that. So just be patient. Uh, you know, you, you've got to check out time that's ten or eleven o'clock. And I promise you, if if you can't get out, the new guest can't get in. So don't worry about the checkout time. You know, just be mindful of, of safety and just just hang out hang out be safe and you can always you know call the cabin company and if they need you to get out then they can maybe send someone out to to put the ice melting stuff down more quickly than what they would have yeah yeah if they want you out then they need to help <laughs> but he's up in um that cabin community that's i can't remember the name of it thunder mountain yeah thunder mountain surely he's not driven by and, and could have helped would have helped but we, there's no one around so you know if we drive by and there's a note where we can call and say hey we're here close by we might be able to give you a hand it's uh, very useful i've been up that a few times that's probably coven are you hungry <laughs> it's usually Coven asking if I'm hungry uh, or if he can get Chick-fil-A but it was not it was one of those spam things mm. click on this link absolutely not I like the one we've been getting lately your uh, your bill has been paid yeah your AT&T bill has been paid just hoping you'll click on the link right? yeah I didn't pay it but I'm gonna look and see who did mm-hmm He's hungry, little fella. <laughs> We've been up there too. The estate. About never got the truck in between those pillars. Yeah, that was a tight squeeze. If you had dollies, you'd never get the dollies through there. It's a good thing we didn't have to tow it. It's just a flat tire. It's kind of hot in these rhinos. <laughs> well, so far so good. The roads look decent. Did he say how he ended up with his RAV4 in the ravine? Ravine. <laughs> <laughs> Had a guy call me the other day. He said, help, I'm stuck. My car's in the ravine. <laughs> I, I shouldn't make fun against everybody. Else. Maybe we're saying it wrong. Yeah, I might be saying it wrong. My accent's a little different. My hillbilly is <laughs> a little different. <laughs> question myself. Have I been saying that wrong my entire life? Probably, yes. It was
was me that was the fool. <laughs> up and up we go. Hey, this last guardrail right here is funny. Oh, so gosh. So, like, lots of folks come around this with, <laughs> it looks like semis, maybe. But That's I'm guessing probably it's RVs. Big, yeah, RVs or equipment Even trailers with. Feet. Turn left onto Fox Ridge Way. And they have turned this corner and their trailer doesn't quite make it, so it, it just, I think they ride the guardrail around. Rick, your service. Ah, uh, yes, I'm calling to see what it cost me to have a 32 foot long box truck. Um, oh, right there. To off of some asphalt that it got hung up on on a biggie up in Gatlinburg. On the right. mm, I would just have to look at it. Every situation's a little different. Okay. Uh, is there a number that I can like send some pictures to to get a quote real quick? Uh, yeah, this this number that you're you're calling. Okay. All uh, right. Um, well, I'll get off here and send you some pictures. Okay. Do you want me to call you back afterwards, or do you just want to text me? Yeah, I can text you back a quote. All right. Thank you. Right, thank you. That looks bad. I don't know that you'd be able to get past him. This road looks narrow. You don't make me walk up there, aren't you? Oh, you do you. Four wheel drive? I mean, I do, but I'm, I'm a little nervous. I'll tell you, I don't want to end up on the roof of that house over there. Mm. Like he was about to. Mm. He might still. Very well, could have guessed. Very well, Are you prepared to back down this? I'm always prepared to back down this. started sliding. Mm -hmm. And you wouldn't be able to get him with the front winch. I don't think you can get around him. You would have to get him with... I don't, I don't know. Oh. Uh, we're about to not have a RAV4, I think. Were you in that deer?
Well, what, what do you reckon holding it there now? Luck? You're not getting it up there. My, your best option would probably be for me to get it over yes. and put it in that ditch on the other side so it stays there for the night. Oh, right here. Uh, well, I mean, yeah, you might. I don't think you'll make it up here. That's. I mean, you look at my lights. That's just all ice right there. Okay. So if I can get you over, yes. I would ride that ditch line and leave it down there, down there at the bottom. You're not going to get it up oh, here. Yes, yes, yes. Okay. But I'll certainly try my best to get it. If I can get it pulled and sucked over into this soft stuff here on the right, yes. then you can kind of you can kind of work it back down, and then just just leave it off to the side of the road down there at the bottom, and just uh, and when you guys walk up and down here, do the same walking that side because you won't need no broken arms or legs or oh, I slide to the bottom. I got out. Oh yeah, I guarantee it. Well, we need to we need to work fast because this is going to get worse and worse. So I'm going to go. I don't I don't need it right now. Uh, I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna go around. I'm gonna turn around. I'm, I need to back up here because all my cables are on the back. Possibleness. See if we can save a Rav4. What's the plan? I got a good tree right there in front of it, but I'm gonna have to turn around. And back all the way up there. All of our cables are on the back. Okay. I am. I like this ditch. I need two snatch blocks. Let's 
some extra rope. Um, if you can get me around that back wheel. Yeah. No, I'm gonna try to get two up there. I'll probably need a whole nother, whole nother rigging. Unless we can just hook to the front and just pull it straight up. Might be the easiest thing to do reconfigure what I've got. Because it might not take much to just pull it up onto the... Because I don't know that I'll have enough cable to do it twice. That's probably what I'll do. Once I get it close, I can redirect for back wheel. But the only way you can be here is to be on your hands and knees. Yeah, just because I think once we get it close, I might be able to put the front end of it over here on this lip and then redo 
to pull the back. I'll go ahead and get some pressure on this if you want to try that again. I think it's going to want to spin till it gets enough traction that way. Well, isn't that be bad? No, I mean. Either way, no one's coming up this mountain. No, no, it's. Our neighbors are down there too. Gotcha. I'm going to leave it in that ditch so they see it's in a ditch. Gotcha. Um, will you, will you winch for me? Well, yeah, actually, yeah, I'll take them. I'm sorry. It's okay. I feel better. I got a hold of it now. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I guess if that front end slides, the then front end can slide. we'll just take it to where it's all the way here. I'll put both front tires here and then we'll redirect for the, and back, pull the back and then pull the back around. Gotcha. Okay, my only concern is that it's lifting on it here a little bit yeah yeah that's we'll have to just keep on and off of it and hopefully okay okay Hold up. Hang on. You yeah, let's do walkie. So yes, big thanks again guys to uh our walkie talkie company here. Rid of us.
I'm not pulling. You are sliding. Just hold tight. Hold tight. I'm coming with a wheel chalk. What do you think? You think you'd be all right there? Okay. Kind of slick. I mean, we should be able to. 
hate to just leave him. And you, you're going to get up in the morning and... Yeah, you're going to get up in the morning and it's going to be bad to... You think you'll be able to back out of this after they salt it? Or I, I might be leaving you in the way of the salt truck. That's what I worry about too. Is anybody coming salt it? How many, how many cabins are up there? Are you all the only ones up here though? Oh, there's people up here. Yeah. Okay. I wonder how much of it back Okay. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Um. This will all melt. Yeah, this will all melt tomorrow because I mean there's not a whole lot of tree cover and stuff. So. Yeah, as long as it gets above freezing. I mean the high today was like 30. So, you know, as long as it gets above freezing, it should melt. It's got the Rav4. Uh, to safety um, just gonna leave it right there until they salt a little bit with the four wheeler he should be able to back right back down we've got him in a, where he's not hanging off the edge of the cliff there that's a good thing I'm hot and cold all at the same time I'm sure what's going on. anyway <laughs> yeah. um, eh, prices I guess I'm gonna address this the best way I know how um, You've, you guys have tagged along with us today and you've heard the phones and everybody's completely covered up and you know everybody there's a lot of the folks that are saying no we're not doing any more today and uh, you know the temperatures are dropping again it's nighttime it's just not safe to do them so you get as many to safety as you can throughout the day um, he he might cringe a little bit on the price um, but at the end of the day what is uh, what is a RAV4 worth to you because I, I promise you that uh, come morning that thing wouldn't have still been there the, like I said the temperatures are dropping all the water that's coming off is refreezing and um, you know it's it is what it is you know we, we try to get it up there safely and uh, use your insurance company I mean that's why you have insurance to tell them what's going on and they're gonna be happy that uh, that they're paying that the price that they're paying for the winch out versus paying for a, a, a complete vehicle or a RAV4 in that case so we saved uh, we saved that insurance company a tremendous amount of money and the folks are safe so that's that's very important they're safe and you know uh, should be able to get down off the mountain here tomorrow at least they can come out to a vehicle yeah I don't think it would have stayed I think I think as slick as it was I mean you saw how much it was sliding yeah, just yeah. pulling it with the winch can you imagine its own weight with nothing to hold on to it any little bit of slip on those tires and it would have it would have been done yeah so that was the best case it's, it's over there on the, the shoulder the opposite side where there's not a cliff and, and uh, they can kind of address it there later but yeah it's uh and we're taking a lot we're taking a lot of risk and you know getting this getting this car back off of the the cliff side there you know we're we're working probably another 45 minutes in that in that work site right there and we would be pressed on getting ourselves back down off that mountain so as the, as the nightfall comes the temperatures drop again and you know, you're set up on that mountain and hopefully you can get the job done to where you can get back down safely too so there's a lot of things that we couldn't get to today at all a lot of the roads that are still are still bad so we do what we can do. And they're going to get bad again tonight. And then tomorrow, we'll go at it again, probably. So, yeah. What now? Food? Food and reevaluate the list, I guess. Yeah, start making phone calls and check on them. Sounds good. All right. See you on the next one.